since you're all running for commissioner and our boy Bob was back in the news last week, I want to know what traits the ideal commissioner would have. You know, I know we're a pro players pod, but, you know, think about it realistically. What does the perfect commissioner look like? You know, how does he handle the media? Like you and, uh, you and Jake, John. Or, you know, how does he deal with players, Trev? I don't know. It'll be fun. Thanks, y'all. I think number one thing I'd want a commissioner is I'd want it to be clear that he loves the sport he is commissioner of. Doesn't need to lay it on thick, but maybe you see him at games reacting to things sometimes. Maybe he does an interview during a game and gets giddy over play on the field naturally. I just think it'd be good if the commissioner enjoyed the sport he was commissioner of. And it was clear Manfred may enjoy baseball. It's not clear if he does. We don't know. Um, I'd also think it's good that when the commissioner does have to address the media, he has an air of professionalism and quality to him and doesn't put his foot in his mouth every time he talks publicly. Those are two things I think that I would like in a commissioner. You can I'd sell like a- me a river of shit, but as long as you do it, in a good way, I'll be like, well, at least you went about it. Kind of like what Brody Wagonen does. Like he won us people over because he just can be presentable. Manfred's oh, so unpresentable. That worked on you, didn't it? That worked on oh, old well, Jim. It works. Be presentable. You can you can be awful, but like Manfred's just dis- the decisions the commissioner doesn't make the decisions. He just to guess man for the owners. So like enjoy the sport and be presentable. See, that's where I, I want a real person. Like, give me a real person, not some robot or a puppet. I need someone that seems real to me. Like, if I met Bob Manfred on the street, I'm not sure he'd actually know what to talk about, like, or he'd be able to talk. Like, he, he just has to be in that setting where he, you know, has his answers that he's practiced a bunch. I hate that. Like, I want you to be a real person. I'd also like you to be transparent. Don't treat the general public like a bunch of idiots. Like, say what's going on, man. If, like, you have an issue that you say, look, this is a business decision. This is what's going on. Say that. You know, if you were trying to do something, like, don't beat around the bush. Just be transparent with everybody. I think we can handle that, dude. And then also realize that you got to get this game in front of more people. Like, don't try to go for the money grab all the time maybe a little bit longer play. Like let's get some exposure out there. It'll bring the bucks in. So we have to have someone that understands like how to do that. He does not, not even close just understand how to put the game in front of more people. In fact, he tries to take it away from people. So I'm all mad. Very nice. There's so many MLB managers that have had the name Jimmy before. Zero Trevors. Only one Jake. Mm. Jake, what do you got on Manfred? Or, I mean, the future commissioner that you like. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's you know, <clears throat> the commissioner is not supposed to be the most beloved person in sports from from the fan perspective. I mean, they're supposed to supposed to take it on the chin sometime, but uh, the, the big picture stuff is the stuff that makes me sad. You know, I, I understand that these owners want money and, uh, you know, the, the grandeur picture should be, Hey guys, if we can make baseball as big and as popular as it can be, that's going to be the best route to getting you guys the most money. There's, it, it just seems there's so many short-term instant money grabs that um, ha- have overlooked the the best way to do it. So um, I, I think it's you know not to be lame, but it's just having the the best nature. Of the game, I I understand money money makes it turn, and you're gonna have to make the owners happy ninety percent of the time, but also be able to do that ten percent where you can say like, hey, I you know, maybe this maybe this ten million dollars now will lead to a hundred hundred million in the future. Again, Jakey Business School right there. So that's, that's they'll be like hundred million dollars. Ugh, that's not maybe. enough. Let me go into my couch cushion. What'd you find? 
couch cushion whole box of pop tarts. No, we uh, we get, we've got a pull out bed couch that we haven't used yet. Um, so I don't think there's too much in there, but you never know, I guess. Well, now that you're manscaped, maybe put it to work, player. Yeah. 